What is happening, La Familia YouTube? It is that time of the month again. It's been, feels like it's been a while. It always feels like it's been a while when I uh, do a Menlo Club unboxing. But uh, it's that time of the month and we got ourselves a Menlo Club unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember this user's name, but I think his name is Raul. Shout out to you, brother, for uh, telling me that you like the La Familia YouTube opening. Because of you, it is here to stay, and it sounds better to me for some reason all of a sudden today, so I don't know what that's about. Um, before we uh, get started with the uh, unboxing, I think uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention um, the uh, gigantic tragedy uh, that our country, I shouldn't say our country, well yeah, I mean our country is, is he was beloved by everybody, it seems like on not only on the planet, but you know, on the United States, but on the planet. Um, and obviously that we are talking about uh, Kobe, the recent passing of Kobe Bryant. Um, you know, it's weird. Um, I haven't, I used to be really big into basketball, played a lot of street ball uh, growing up, and especially when I lived in Puerto Rico is when I played a lot. Um, my dad played basketball throughout his life. My dad was actually really good um, up until well, the funny thing is, well into his 50s, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, he could still borderline beat me, and I wasn't too bad myself at the time. So, but anyways, um, so basketball was a, a big thing in our family, um, but I kind of lost touch with it probably when I got into like my early 20s um, because I just was interested in other things like music and art and stuff like that. So, um, but it's weird. I, there, for me, I. I didn't really follow Kobe Bryant's career, but um, for me, it um, kind of, where I started kind of more, more so noticing him was more so when I watched him on like Tonight Shows, and I watched, I've seen like all of his interviews, which is really weird, like I said, I didn't really follow his basketball career, you know, aside any, you know, besides highlights and stuff like that on like, you know, Sports Center or the news or something. But um, yeah, um, I was more impressed with what he was doing um, outside, off the court, uh, more than anything, um, so. When he died, it's really weird how hard it kind of hit me. I, I, I was kind of like, wow, this is, why does this hurt so much? I mean, it, and it, you know, it took the wind out of my sails like on Sunday, like the whole day. And um, yeah, uh, it, it was unbelievable. I was just like everybody, I was like, no, this has to be fake, stuff like that, especially because it was a fellow Menlo Club ambassador that actually brought it to our attention in a group chat. And I had to look it up and I was like, holy shit, like this is true. So anyways, I don't want to like, uh, I don't want to draw this out. I actually might do a video on this because there's many reasons why it kind of hit home with me. One of which is the fact that he's only uh, two years older than me. And it just really made me think about my life quite a bit and what the hell I'm doing with it. So don't mean to get somber or uh, too um, introspective. Is, is that the right word? Yeah, I don't want, or too uh, mushy or whatever the case is, but um, um, to, uh, our, my condolences to Kobe Bryant's family. You, you guys aren't going to see this. So, but if anybody sees it, and anybody's a fan, my condolences to all of his fans, his family, and also condolences to the um, other, uh, his daughter. I mean, that's the thing that, that probably breaks my heart the most. But again, I'm not going to get too much into it. I may do a video about that. But um, it's a tragedy, and it's really bad, and it really makes you think about how much you should value your time because he was very young and he died in a situation that was completely out of his control. So without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and continue with the unboxing um, and not be so sound, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys have watched my videos before, you guys know that uh, Grand AC Month is indeed my favorite month. Um, if you're a first time watcher of my videos um, or if you're watching this to find out about Memo Club, it's a Basically, it's like Netflix for clothes. You pay a monthly subscription. They send you $120 worth of clothes every month uh, for 60 bucks a month. If you sign up for the link down below, though, you can go ahead and actually get your first month, get your first taste for only $20 for that first month. So, um, and you should really do that right now because then you'll still get the package that I'm about to unbox. Um, Grand AC's, uh, the, the, and specifically Grand AC month is, Grand AC is their uh, at leisure brand because there's four different um, brands that are under the Menlo Club banner. Grand AC is their athleisure wear. And uh, it is my favorite part of Menlo Club because 
even though it is athleisure wear, it actually very much has a very uh, streetwear centric um, look about it. And actually, I'm really excited about this particular Grand AC package because there's actually some newly, excuse me, some newly engineered uh, pants that are going to be in this, and I'm very excited about them because they look very cool. And uh, yeah, and usually I have a uh, a constant war with Menlo Club's uh, pants. They don't fit me very well because I have giant thighs and a smaller waist, and you know, my body's real fucked up that way. But um. Their clothes are just not, their, their pants are just not, their jeans, I should say, because their sweatpants fit me amazingly. But like uh, their jeans, for the most part, just in their khakis, just kill my thighs. So, so yeah, so if you're somebody that's got a little bit of a thicker lower half like I do, you know, make sure that uh, you proceed with caution when it comes to. But these are actually more of an athleisure style pants, so usually I do really well with Menlo Club and they're like, joggers and stuff like that. So let's open it up. It's interesting that they put it in the OG packaging, not the yellow Menlo Club packaging like, the, like they have the new stuff with the saying on it. So hopefully this is not something else I just ordered and it actually is my January club. <laughs> Ooh, tell you what though, this fucking thing is heavy this month. Hefty heavy. So I'm actually pretty excited to find out what's in here. Ooh. Yup, definitely OG packaging, and uh, usually I am forward, man, because there's three different types of uh, packaging you can choose. Forward is typically if you're somebody that's more into, you know, forward fashion, forward style. So, you know, usually a lot of the, the forward stuff is going to be just a, 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 a little bit more out there fashionably than the classic and the casual guy packaging. So, I like uh, things that are a little bit more forward and unique looking, so I go with forward. Right, we got ourselves mailing package. Ooh, oh Jesus, wait a minute, hold on a second. Oh, damn. Oh, hold on a second. They hooked your boy up. <laughs> they hooked your boy up. Okay, hold on, so, wow, this is awesome. <sighs> okay, so this is the first thing. That's part, and this is part of the January package. This is actually, um, Grand AC, black polo. I'm not really a polo guy. If you've seen my videos before, you kind of know that I'm not, but this is okay. I like the collar. Definitely a little bit lighter, so it's definitely gonna be more for spring and summer. Um, let's see, they got my slits on the side. Yeah, I like that, but most polos have that. But pretty sweet, just a plain back black polo. Um, and this is another thing I like, the Grand AC logo, the four circles right there. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Hopefully the camera's focusing. Yeah, it's the Grand AC flag. Okay, this is actually a better polo than I thought. All right. All right, I see you. I see you, Menlo Club. I see you. It's pretty sweet. I like, I like, I like little, uh, new little things like that. These are, this is, and these are the pants. There we go. Yeah, these are awesome. Oh yeah, these look like they're actually gonna fit too. Oh, which is even better. Wow, these are cool. Okay, now I was hoping though that I was gonna get the cargo pants. There's actually these cargo pants, but they don't, apparently they might've run out, so that's why I didn't get them, but that's okay, because I actually do like these a lot. These are fucking sweet. Wow, these are really, really, they're light. I don't know, they just, they feel really good. Wow, okay. And yeah, some more little, cool little nuancey things right there. I like that, right there. The Grand AC flag, so it'll match the, uh, the shirt here. I can dig it, I can dig it. Where's it at, where's it at? Well, you guys already saw it, so. Pants pretty cool though. Definitely look like they're gonna fit me pretty well, which is even better. I love the way they taper. Like the shape of these, the silhouette of the pants are great. And it looks like it's gonna give me a lot of room in my thighs, which is where I need it the most. So, very cool, very cool. All right, Menlo Club, I'm impressed. Okay, so this is where it gets into more of the extras. So here's another polo. <laughs> 
I just, okay, so this is a size smaller. They probably just like, hey, just give them everything, I guess. Okay. So, same thing, same style polo. So, they gave me the gray one and the black one. That's pretty awesome. And then last month, I actually paused. So, they hooked your boy up with, holy shit, wait a minute, they gave me another pair of pants. What, what is this? Okay, this is actually the sweatshirt. I really wanted this sweatshirt from last month and I didn't get it because I bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is awesome, that ice blue baby. Check it out. What in the Menlo Club, what the? F Jesus, you guys gave me everything but the kitchen sink this month. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. This, again, I wanted this so bad, but I, I spent so much money on their Black Friday sale last month that I was like, okay, I'm gonna skip the package this month. They ended up giving it to me anyways. Holler at your boy. This is pretty sweet. Little five four logo right there. And of course, the Menlo Club loop, which has become kind of the signature. Oh my gosh. Menlo Club, <laughs> you hooked your boy up. Check this out, you guys. We got another pair of pants. What is this? <laughs> What is this life? Okay, this is a size smaller. I don't know why they, they sent me both of these. So it's the same pants as my other ones, just one pair is the size is an extra large, which is what I would go for, and this size is a large. So I don't, Menlo Club, I don't know why you guys, I don't know why you guys hooked me up with this, but uh, man, I very much so appreciate you. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I mean, that pretty much does it for the uh, pretty much does it for the the unboxing. And you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this on. So I'll be right back with you. All right, La Familia YouTube. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video today and this month. Um, I'm trying to post more content. I just don't know what the hell to do. So I'm just kind of sticking to these unboxing videos pretty soon. I'm gonna start having like maybe some friends do some unboxings with me and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I am out. Everybody remember to value your time and I will check you later.